Announcement time. Um, I'm coming to you from home instead of my office where the other videos are recorded because I recorded the announcements Thursday morning and I said things like, come on out to Thursdays at the Hub and Sundays at the Hub and then Thursday afternoon um, the BC government uh, announced its new health order for the effective for the next two weeks, um, r stopping all such gatherings. So new announcements. Um, we'll be meeting on Zoom this Sunday. And uh, if you're watching this and you aren't on Zoom, feel free to check your email blast or Facebook to get the Zoom link. And if, you know, obviously if it's after Sunday morning, you've missed it. But otherwise, um, you know, if you want to join us, that would be awesome. And you, we anticipate the next several Sundays, Sundays until December 7th, being on Zoom. Uh, we'll be moving Thursdays to Zoom as well. And you can watch for those links to be sent out on the email blast and posted on Facebook. Um, so that you can so that you can join us for a time of online fellowship and worship, which you're kind of already doing if you're watching this. So, yeah, and then we'll see. We'll see what happens around December 7th, whether or not the orders are changed, extended, rescinded, hopefully, whatever the case may be. Um, other things that are going on. Uh, the only other announcement to make right now is about Christmas. Um, every year at Christmas, well, I don't know about every year, but for the last several years at Christmas, um, we have had a, a gift tree, if you want to call it that. Um, we, have, we have collected gift cards and items to give to people within our church family. Um, and that has, been, that has been awesome. Um, this year we want to do the same thing. But we want to expand it a little bit and open it up to people that you might know in the greater community as well. So they don't need to attend Timbers, but we would like them to be connected to someone who does attend Timbers. We know there are many people struggling for various reasons as we continue through this pandemic, and many of us may be feeling that anew with the new health orders given this week. And as a church, we would like to love on our church family and the greater community of Prince George this Christmas. So what do we need from you? Uh, we need you to contact us with the name or names of someone who you would like Timbers to support and reach out to at Christmas. This can, as I said, be someone who is in the church that you are connected to, or somebody who's not in the church that you are connected to, a neighbor, a co-worker, a family member um, that you know would be encouraged by a gift from our church. So we need you to get us those names. Uh, we'll let you know what types of gift cards are needed. Now, we were planning on still doing this by setting up a tree at the hub and hanging the little gift cards up so that so that you could come by and grab one. And hopefully after December 7th, we'll still be able to do that. But until we can meet together in person, that information will come out in the email blast and be posted as well. If you're able to help out by giving a gift card, um, awesome. Please do so. And the gifts this year will largely be gift cards because of COVID regulations. We can't give out things like food, for example, which is part of the baskets we've put together in the past. Once the gift cards are collected, um, and we've we've organized them according to the people that have been, you know, the names that have been brought to us, then we're going to get those, those gifts to you to give to the person that you are connected with. So you get to be the point person, the connecting point to the people in the community. You're the one who has a relationship with this person that you've nominated, and we want you to bless them in Timber's name and to be a part of blessing them by being involved in this and, and having a conversation with them and praying for them and whatever else you can do. Really what we're looking at is this is an opportunity to put our values into practice. We want to be a community of grace that sees people. We want to be reliant on the Holy Spirit to lead us as we give. We want to be on mission to share the love of Christ because of his transformative word that is work at work within us. So let's intentionally shine the light and love of Jesus on the people around us this Christmas. The only other announcement is just that every Sunday we have a time of offering. And uh, every Sunday I highlight a few things about this, the practical and the spiritual. Practically speaking, you can give online at our website, timbers.org, or you can do an e-transfer, send it to office at timbers.org. Um, if you need to give in another way, you can get in touch with us. We have had the boxes and debit machines set up at the hub. So that's an option, just not on Sunday mornings right now. Um, and every Sunday I say something about giving. And this morning I just want to remind us that it is so easy 
for money to, money to become idolatrous. And part of what we do in giving is testify to ourselves first and foremost that money is not our God, that the Lord is our God, that everything we have is his, and we are but stewards. And that's why we encourage each of us to be prayerful and discerning as we give. With that said, let's pray. Father God, thank you for this morning, for your generosity and grace. Thank you for an opportunity to bless others, and may we take Christmas and do that in many ways, and not just Christmas, Lord, but each day may we be a blessing to those around us. We ask for you to pour out your blessing upon us in abundance that we might have the opportunity to give in equal abundance. As we continue in worship, <clears throat> we ask you to come, Holy Spirit. Lead us, guide us, speak to us. May our worship be honoring, glorifying to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Let's worship together. <clears throat> 